can be only our victim. The people Israel here in America and in Israel. Thank you very much. This is like the first time in my life that I, I, I honestly don't really feel safe being Jewish. And we, we felt a bit nervous coming out here, but we thought, you know, we, we can't let um, that fear kind of uh, guide us. We have to just go out and, and represent what we believe in. The anti-Semitism has always been around. If you want to get rid of anti-Semitism, you have to get rid of the Jews and that will never happen. Anti-Semitism always raises its ugly head when there's a conflict. Uh, Anti-Israel is just another name for anti-Semitism. So I work in uh, City Hall of Philadelphia and there are constant uh, pro-Palestinian uh, protests and most of them are young people who may or may not realize what they're really protesting about. So uh, they need to know that uh, Jews have been oppressed for centuries and we're going to fight back. Although there has been a rise in anti-Semitism, uh, there are a lot of people who are standing strong with the Jewish community. It's unlike anything I've ever seen before. It's become so mainstream and it's heart-wrenching to see the lack of consciousness in people's language and processing what they're even saying. They don't know what they're saying, yet they say it anyways because it's cool, it's hip, it's trendy, and it's beyond disturbing, in my opinion, that we have to go to such great lengths as a community just to fight for our own survival, for our right to exist. If you support Hamas, you are an anti-Semite. Yes. But now so well. it is so this much is in the forefront that it's frightening. It's really terrible because the fact that you post about people who are kidnapped and they say, that then they say something about pro-Palestine. Sometimes the issues aren't, the issues don't correlate. Just because I'm, I'm talking about people who are kidnapped, I'm not talking about anything else. The fact that we're, when you respond to people who are kidnapped, you're saying from, uh, from the river to the sea, Palestine won't be free. We're talking about human lives here that were taken. I think uh, the Jewish people, we're, we're really, uh, we feel each other's pain very deeply. It is on the rise. We must confront it. We must make sure that people who commit anti-Semitic acts pay the price, either legally or uh, economically. And that's the only way to tap this down. It will never disappear, but we can reduce it to a dull roar. Living in New York City, um, there's a lot of Jews there. So, um, but, uh, you know, I haven't seen that much personally, other than when I put posters up. For the hostages, I've seen them taken down. The protests uh, against Israel are, are a, a vocal minority, and that's all. The majority of America stands with these people right here.